Hello everyone and welcome! I've got another unboxing video for you today. I just picked up the Rigid Auto Detailing Kit from Home Depot. It was on sale for Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. Got it for half off. So even if you don't find it for that price, from everything that I've read online about reviews of this thing, this is an excellent product to have if you have a Rigid Shop Vac or if you like detailing. It really beats the stock OEM hose that comes with any other rigid shop vac. So I'll show you what I have. There's my rigid five gallon shop vac I've had forever. This thing is a beast. I've had that for close to 10 years. It has never let me down. However, I will show you the hose it came with. Now it's not terrible. It's just a cheap, corrugated, plastic, you know, it's, it's not, it's held up for this long. So, I mean, I've been, I've been happy with it. It's just kind of chunky and clunky and gets hung up around edges and stuff. So if you're going around the car and your door, it gets stuck like that. I do like this attachment though. It's about six or seven feet long. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is a 10 foot hose that this comes with. So I'm really excited to have a longer hose. Supposedly it's quite a bit stiffer. It's narrower, so it shouldn't get hung up. Wow, look at that. I thought this box would be so much bigger when I actually got it. So this is what comes with it. These are all, I believe, one and a quarter inch attachments, and it does come with adapters, which is nice. It's got two different brushes here. Ooh, this one's nice and soft. I bet you this would be great for like upholstery or like curtains or something in your house. It's a very soft bristle brush. Probably good for like scrubbing really sensitive like dashboards and things like that that you don't want to scratch up. This brush, on the other hand, you can see and hear the bristles. I don't know if the camera can pick up that detail of sound. Much more scratchy, much more aggressive. Great for taking dog hair out of carpets. That's probably going to be great for that. It's got your standard wide nozzle vac hose. It's angled. That'll be great for just vacuuming like car seats and things like that. The crevice tool is, oh, it's flexible. Very long. You should be able to get in between your car seats and the little tiny cracks and crevices. No problem with that guy. I'll show you what I was using before I picked this up. So this was from an old vacuum cleaner that I threw away years ago. I just had this little short crevice tool and I had an adapter for it. So I would plug my hose into here and this is just a graduated adapter. I believe it's quarter inch on this end and it gets smaller and larger depending on the size of the attachment. So that's like inch and a half or something. Boom, fits right over. Great little adapter I picked up for a couple of bucks. If you want to adapt other vacuum parts to your shop vac, there's a good choice for you. Anyway, with that side topic, it comes with a couple of adapters. So ShopVac inlet hole is gonna be this size and the hose is gonna be smaller. So keep in mind, if you're gonna be sucking up really big chunky stuff, you might clog it easier with a smaller inlet nozzle. However, Less airflow, greater suction. That's how this works. As you go from a large diameter, you get a massive amount of airflow with very little restriction. So it's good for picking up like chunks of uh, chopped pieces of wood and leaves and stuff like that and big rocks. Like small pebbles and stuff that your shop vac can pick up quite easily with a large diameter hose. I believe this one is a 1 and 7 8 hose. So the one that comes with this is a little bit narrower. So keep that in mind. It is a longer hose, but the way that the math works is you lose a little bit of power the longer the hose is. However, because it's narrower, the air velocity, in other words, the speed of the air is going to be higher, but it's going to be a lower amount of suction because it's a narrower restriction. So it's like you've got a really tiny hose. It's going to shoot the water out high speed, but not a lot's going to get through it. So there's a quick little physics lesson for you. Now to the meat of it. Coils up nicely. 
Yeah, that is quite a narrow restriction. So the inside of the hose diameter is quite a bit larger. So, I mean, the hose itself is pretty big. Looks like it's pretty smooth on the inside. So this end gets connected to your vacuum inlet. It's got the locking mechanism, just like all other rigid ones. It just snaps right on. And then for the adapter, I'm not too thrilled that it's super narrow, but it does swivel, which is nice. So it won't get hung up. The other one, it doesn't really swivel. I mean, it does a little bit, but I think that comes off. Now, so keep that in mind, it is quite narrow. However, let's uncoil this. Wow. Quite a bit longer, as you can tell. It's very rigid. It's a lot smoother because the... Uh, perforations here are a lot closer together. Here it is compared to my old one. Sorry if I keep clunking into my camera tripod. So you can see the ridges are quite a bit larger here and spaced more apart. This is much closer together. So see that flex there? This one is hard as a rock. I could probably step on that and it wouldn't crush. In fact, this up to the shop vac. I'll show you the next part of the review, which is actually hooking it up. I've also got an indoor heater in here. It's getting cold now. So there we go. There's both hoses. You can see, even though it is a much longer hose, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I've heard people rave about these things online and, you know, I'm excited about it. I've been putting off purchasing this for years. I think I'm just going to like the length of it more than anything else, but I'm not super thrilled about how narrow this is. Hopefully that doesn't restrict a lot of airflow. I'm hoping it doesn't make a big difference. So let's see, this should adapt without any sort of modifications. Because Ridge makes many different kinds of vacuums, some have a one and seven eighth inlet, some have one and one and a half. I think some even have three inch inlets. This should just plug straight in without any adapter. Look at that, perfect. It just snaps right in. It's the same diameter as my old one. In fact, I could probably, no, I had an idea to daisy chain these off, but it'd be going the other direction. I need a super long hose, maybe I'll think of a way to adapt that at some point. So anyway, there it is. That's a positive lockup. Just testing the suction. Let's see, this hose does swivel as well. Now let's test the suction on this, just the hand test. my initial observations just by doing that, I feel like this larger diameter hose, and because it's shorter, it is in its favor of having more power. So I'll give it that. However, I think it is going to be beneficial cleaning in tight spaces around the garage and climbing over car seats. It is going to be nice to have this little bit longer length to work with. It's quite a bit more rigid and crush proof. And I do like the attachments. You know, I don't know if I probably would have spent full price for this. I don't know. It depends on how crazy you are about detailing. I'll probably have to give it a long-term review. I'm not thrilled about the loss in performance. So maybe if you have a newer vacuum that's a 5 horsepower motor or something, you might get better performance than the 3.5 peak horsepower that this one is. 
But you know what? I think I'll be happy with it. I can't use the attachments with the old hose. That's kind of a bummer. I was kind of hoping that this would all be like a universal switch it back and forth, do whatever you want. Looks like this is the only one that's going to be a universal fit, is this guy, because it does have this larger diameter here. So that'll work. But for some reason, these guys aren't going to work unless I do this. No. I guess that's what this is for. So I'm just testing the interoperability between the pieces and parts here. That could work, and then I can get a really long reach there. Anyway, I don't want this video to get too long. I hope that helps you guys out quite a bit. Yeah, there's been a lot of hype amongst the detailing community with this particular kit. And I can see why people like it, especially if you have a really powerful vacuum. I think it's... It's worth the 20 bucks. I don't know if it's worth the full $40, though. It's just a hose and some accessories. Maybe the accessories are worth it, too, if you're really into detailing and you like the kit that it comes with. That's just my two cents. It seems like it's good quality. Rigid makes good stuff. They've got a good warranty. The vacuum's good. I don't think I'm going to return it because I got a good deal on it, but hey... We'll just try it out for a while and see how I like it. But this is my short-term review and unboxing. Anyway, if you like this video, hit subscribe. Leave a comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching.